Last week, 79-year-old Natalie Namoli, one of the purported beneficiaries of the 10.6 billion land compensation by the Uganda Land Commission, told CID investigators that she didn't receive any penny as claimed by some lawyers claiming to be her legal representatives. Natalia told investigators from Kosase that she knows nothing about the Kagadi land, adding that she never received any money for it. Appearing before Kosasi today, one of the lawyers in that matter, Richard Buzibira of Lubega Buzibira and Company Advocates, claimed that Natalia received 318 million shillings out of the 2 billion after selling her interest to a one Warren Moesije. According to Buzibira, Natalia received the amount in cash in company of her son-in-law Peter Amara who had brought her to meet with the lawyers. She thought it better to sell her interest. I executed a sale agreement and an assignment for the parties after I had explained to her the effect of her decision, which she agreed. That Warren Mwesije paid her 318 million and about 875,000. In cash. However, Peter Amara, who was in the committee today, trashed these claims with the MPs also questioning why Warren Moesiji is coming into the picture now and was never mentioned in the earlier submissions. You were around and she was paid cash that you were around and you will tell us how you transported that money. I don't want to lie for the committee. That document, money did not exchange hands. Mm -hmm. That document, money did not exchange hands. From the purported Warren mm -hmm. to Namuli Nantalia. So, wh wh why did you sign? Because there was no money at the time. Were you under the belief or did council Buzivira convince you that don't worry, we are going to get the money? From Warren and give it to you, please sign. That's what I'm trying he to was, understand. He was, he was acting on behalf of his client. And I thought all what he was doing, he was doing it in good faith. No, what I want to understand is what did he tell you? Did he promise you that please sign, we are going to make sure the money comes to you or what exactly? Because you no. signed an agreement that is saying cash has been paid. Sign, he signed the agreement, witnessed it and even translated it. In the presence of Warren that... Yes. Natalia has received. Yes. And it can be produced. Yes. Later, the MPs expressed their suspicions that Amara could have been part of the deal since he admitted to having taken his mother in law to the civilian's office on the 22nd of June 2020. However, at this time, the country was under total lockdown, law firms were closed, and public transport was grounded. I also want to put it to him that was the time we had a total lockdown. Taxis were not allowed to move. What magic did you do that taxis were actually moving from Kagadi to come to Kampala? Natalia Namuli says, number one, she does not know about this land. She is not in any way related to the Kalete family and has no idea. She was told, put your thumbprint here, put your thumbprint here, and so on, and things moved. What's your comment on her account? On the 22nd whereby just Namori to, to Mr. Buzibira. On that day, all documents, these documents, the, the powers of attorney and the agreement of purported wedding came on the same day. The MPs also quizzed Amara if he had carried out due diligence, especially on whether Natalia had any relationship with the Kalete family that actually owns the contentious land. The MPs also asked Amara why he kept quiet all this time, well knowing that his mother-in-law hadn't received any pay. Are you very, very sure that indeed this said land of your mother-in-law, Namuri, existed? Because once you're already son-in-law, at least you get to know many of the things in the family. Because your wife is also there, you could ask her to prove. Namuri said that... Sumbusa was processing for her land and uh, that one itself and even 
making searches by council and the rest indicated that the land existed. Madam. In the document which you translated, it was clear that 318 million was paid to your mother-in-law in cash by uh, Wallen, who was not present. Did you take time to ask who is this Wallen and why is, was the money not paid to your in-law? Warren Moesije is expected to appear before the committee tomorrow. Ali Mivole, NTV.